going to be putting this video up today to show the best photos of 2013 and early 2014 up till March uh, this last month. Uh, it includes miniature trains, uh, diesel motor traction, uh, steam on preserved and main line. Uh, and all of these photos have been edited in some way. So they've either had their contrast edited, they've been sharpened up, they've been refocused. And uh, we'll go through them. So uh, nine photos today. So right. So for my for ninth picture is this is all of Mount Edgecombe uh, coming t uh, through Hatton. Uh, it's not Hatton Station. This is coming just before Hatton Station on the triangle on a road bridge. Uh, what all I've done to this editing wise is. Uh, focused in on the uh, main part of it, main part of the loco here. Focused in on the locomotive there, and uh, blurred the background out a little bit, and add my uh, copyright at the bottom of the screen. So the uh, number eight on the list is this one. So this was taken at the Great Central Railway uh, about, uh, I think it was in February. And uh, this was their uh, winter steam gala. So what we've done here is again, uh, not much. All we've done is blurred the backgrounds out and make this area focused and add a uh, copyright on. Uh, it's always good to put copyrights on your photos that you take, uh, just so no one else copies you and uh, tries to copy your work really. Uh, number seven is this from our local club. It's uh, Whiffle Miniature Railway this one's from. So out of it so uh, yeah it's a very good uh, photo I think uh, so we've got a bit of everything in here so we've got the classic buses in the background and we've got the uh, seven and a quarter inch uh, Hunslet coming around a nice full train of people and what we've done here is lowered the contrast a bit but uh, at the same time focusing in on the back on the locomotive and trying to blur out the background so not too much so you can't see and make out what it is but focusing on that part over there at the top left hand corner so number six this is again at Whithall and uh, this is the same engine the Hunslet coming over the crossing what I liked about this photo was the classic car in the uh, in the corners and that one there which really gives a, an effect off so all we've done on this again is add the copyright and uh, focus on the background this was taken in 2013 at the Easter event. Right, so this is a bit more recent. This was took two weeks ago at the uh, at the club uh, with Thor Mitch Railway again. Uh, this is a picture of a black five, seven and a quarter inch, and uh, I'll show you a bit. This photo I think is really nice. Uh, so what we've done is. Focusing on the actual uh, uh, face of the engine and the smoke box and the buffers and try to blur the rest out. I think that's wor worked really well. Uh, and the steam being let off from the injectors down there. So, on to uh, I think we're on number four now. Yes, this is a photo from the Great Central again. This is of Coco the North. Uh, this is uh, on one of its uh, first runs on the railway, actually. I don't know where you can see too well. But uh, what I to do is focus on safety. So on this here, we've got the engine coming down from Switzerland going towards uh, Corn and Woodhouse, I think. Yeah, Corn and Woodhouse from Switzerland down to Corn and Woodhouse. And uh, just as it's going over this point, the safety valves are lifting. And it looks very nice. Uh, what all we've done with this is uh, made it on the vintage background. As you can see, it looks like it's an old picture. It works really well. Down to number three now. This is one of uh, so this was uh, taken last year, last October time at the Classic Bus and Train Fair at Ecclesbourne Railway, and this is on one of their uh, industrial tanks. And actually, uh, there's me there, and I actually got to have a drive of this tank. Uh, very luckily, I got to have a drive, and uh, it's a really nice day it was. So what we've done on this photo is add a copyright on the bottom down there, and uh, focused in on the main bit of the cab and try to we do it black and white so we can really focus on that age of the engine right this is getting serious now down to number two 
by this other great centre again the same spot coming from Swiveland down to Corner Woodhouse. So this is a class uh, I think it's forty five, yeah, class forty five in green with a mixed goods traffic and it looked really good. What we've done with this is uh sharpened the picture up a bit, uh added a copyright and uh focused in on the engine once again. I think this is a really good picture. Right going down to this next one now. Well, this picture is number one, so I think this is the best picture took over the last one and a half years. I've been uh, taking photos. So this is a photo at Tysley. Uh, this was at their open day. And here we have uh, Rude Ashton Hall pulling down to from the turntable, which is back here, down towards the main line. And uh, there was quite a few, about 20 or 30 photographers on the other side of the track trying to get a good photo. So I thought I'll go on the other side to see my chances. And just as it happens, it had the uh, water cocks, drain cocks open from the pistons, and uh, it just blasted a load of steam out. And the guy who was running the event and presenting on the mic and that was there, and it looks really, uh, really actually ghost like with him in his black suit and the uh, the white smoke. So that is the best picture of 2014. So all these pictures I'm going to put up after the video. Uh, as as I'm saying, I'm, only, I'm filming the off the computer at the moment but uh thank you for watching please uh, like comment and subscribe on the video please for more